electronic identification has the potential to revolutionise your cattle system. The Farm Advisory Service, in partnership with Scott EID, have put together this series of videos. We follow several farmers involved in the EID pilot scheme and also showcase some good examples of EID in practice. So I'm John Howey and I farm here at Gertrude Farm Dundonald. Here we have a mixed farming business where we grow feed barley, have 500 breeding ewes, and we buy suckle calves and sell finished cattle. Three years ago we got involved with the Scott EID UHF tag pilot and the rest is history. So John, what got you involved with cattle EID? So my involvement started from being a Quality Meat Scotland monitor farm and then we got involved with the pilot from then on using the UHF tags as a management tool to improve our beef cattle efficiency. So at this stage are you using management tags or are you using official EID tags? So just now we're uh, mainly using uh, management EID tags. So I will scan the passport's barcode, then I'll write it to a tag and then I'll tag that beast with for its management. So it's taking paper out of the equation when I'm working with cattle at the crush. We are now three years in and we are seeing some secondary tags coming through, which is making life easier again for me. And so you're a finisher, you're buying store cattle. If you see a pink tag in a market, is that, is that positive? Does that make things easier or is it, you know, is it more complicated? So if I'm looking to buy cattle and I see they've got a pink uh, secondary tag in their, in their year, I do actually think this is worth a bit more value to me as it saves time on or my side on farm, sorting out paperwork and admin basically. So John, during the Monitor Farm programme, you installed a new handling system. Do you want to talk us through what you've installed and, and how you've incorporated EID into that setup? So through the Monitor Farm programme, it was highlighted that we desperately needed to upgrade our handling uh, facilities for the cattle. So uh, with expert advice and then branching out to the whole Monitor Farm community group, we designed a new system. So for that, we have a holding pen, a forcing gate, and a, a race with our crush fixed at the end of it. To improve the efficiency of the cattle as well, we accessed an innovation fund through the Monitor Farm programme, which allowed us to invest in uh, weigh bars and a tapari weigh head along with a tapari dozing gun. So with the weigh head that we've got, we're not only seeing daily live weight gains of our cattle, we can use the weigh head to communicate to the dozing gun through Wi-Fi, so we're not over or under dozing, saving money and reducing resistance. What type of reader do you work with? So we have two UHF readers, one uh, which is fixed to the crush, so automatically every time an animal comes into the crush, um, it's read and we, we know exactly where we're at without reading tags and annoying, annoying the animal. Um, we also have a, a handheld reader, which is good for on float movements uh, when we're going to grazing away from home, but also we use that to read the passports, to scan the barcodes and to write our own management tags when the cattle come on that do, uh, that do not have that. Excellent. So John, what would you say to somebody who was maybe apprehensive or unsure about getting involved in cattle EID? What would, you, what would you say to them at this stage? So I would encourage anybody to get involved with cattle EID. You can make it as intensive as you wish or as hands off as you wish. Um, it, it improves our management as it takes paper away from the crush and makes the whole process a lot quicker, easier, less stress on me and the animal. For more information on electronic identification, visit the Farm Advisory Service website and the Scott EID website. If you've got any questions or want to know a bit more, feel free to contact Scott EID.